Hello. Look at these tomatoes. I grew them myself. They'll make a nice salad. And that's a bee buzzing round me. Go away, I'm not a flower. The bees are very busy at this time of year, visiting flowers to collect nectar, a sweet syrupy liquid. They make honey with it. If you touch a bee, it can give you a nasty sting. So I don't like them getting too close. Oh, listen. You know what that sound is? It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen with tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure, tears, fears and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Bubble. Oh, I can hear that bee. It must have followed me in here. <laughs> that isn't a bee, Mr. Bubble. It's Chloe. <laughs> you sound just like a bee, Chloe. Thank you, Mr. Mopple. I've been practising. We saw the bee buzzing round you in the garden and it reminded Boris of a story. It's all about a dog and a pig and a bee, of course. Well, find it then, Boris. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Oh, this is it. Stand back, Mr. Mopple. Thank you, Boris. Will you read it to us, please? Yes, Twinkle, of course I will. It's called Lucky Mucky Pup. Mucky Pup was snoozing in the sun when a bee buzzed by. <coughs> Chloe's making the sound of a buzzing bee. He snapped at it. Bash! He jumped at it. Crash! He pounced at it. Smash! But the bee buzzed on. So Mucky Pup chased it into the vegetable garden. Whoops! Now he's running right through all the tomato plants and look, he's knocked down the pole that was holding up the washing line. Oh dear! <laughs> he chased it into the farmyard. Splish! Splosh! Through the mud. Come on, pig, <laughs> he called. Come and chase this bee with me. <laughs> they chased it through the barn. <laughs> Look, pigs trying to climb up the haystack. <laughs> they chased it past the shed. Clatter, bang, crash. They knocked everything over. They chased it around the pond. <laughs> and into the meadow. <laughs> Where's that bee gone now? panted Mucky Pup. To fetch his friends, gasped Pig. <gasps> Look! Uh oh. Run! Look at all the bees! Yes, and how they ran out of the meadow, past the shed, and across the pond. <coughs> Splash! Oh no! Pig's fallen into the pond. Back to the barn and under the hay. <laughs> down the hill into the farmyard. And splat! Oh, look, they're covered in manure. And finally, into the garden and under the washing, safe and sound. Phew. You 
said they were covered in manure. Yes, that's right. Look, if I turn back, you can see they are covered in manure. What's manure? Poo. Poo? Yes, animal poo. It's what farmers put on the crops and plants to help them grow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, there was Mucky Pup safe and sound under the washing. And look, the bees are all flying away. But... Mucky Pup, what have you been doing? wailed the farmer's wife. Oh, poor Mucky Pup, he's not to blame, cried the children. He was being chased by a swarm of bees. Well, he's lucky they didn't catch him, said their mum. Come on, Mucky Pup, let's clean you up. So instead of getting a scolding, Mucky Pup had a bath under the garden hose. And that was much more fun. Lucky Mucky Pup! <laughs> Thank you, Boris. It's OK, Chloe, you can stop buzzing now. The story's finished. I'm not buzzing, Mr Moppet. Oh! It's a real bee this time, Mr Moppet! Whoa! Oh! He, he's landed my hair! Oh, get it out, Mr Moppet! Get it out! Whoa! Boris, a bee can't hurt you. You're made of wood. No, I haven't. Wow! Go away, bee! Don't sting me! Hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, don't worry, it's gone. In fact, I must be going too. Thank you for reading the story, Mr. Mopple. You're welcome. I enjoyed it. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Bye, Mr. Mr. Mopple. Well, that was an exciting story, wasn't it? I'm glad Mucky Pup won't be running through here knocking over my tomato plants. Oh no, it's that bee again. Go away. Ah! <laughs> I'll see you next time. Goodbye.